our daily life, we all have unlimited thoughts in our mind. But unfortunately, we cannot control our thoughts as a result of which we cannot be able to have a rational conclusion about a particular situation or a task that we are supposed to perform. But the only way we can at least up to some extent regulate our thoughts is to write the things down that we are thinking. Just take a pen and paper and write down whatever you are thinking, whether it is rational or irrational. This is what we call journaling. Alright, so hey everyone, welcome back to BG Miraki and thank you so much for all the love and support that you have shown to my first video and I'm really grateful for that. Anyways, in this video I'm gonna be talking about journaling. So what is journaling, how to do journaling and all the benefits of journaling. So without any delay, let's get into it. Journaling is nothing but simply keeping a record of personal thoughts, feelings, ideas, plans, insights in the form of words, drawings, signs in order to have a clear understanding. Journaling merely can cover many topics. It depends on your lifestyle. Like you can have journal for your overall thoughts and feelings. You can have journal for your ideas and plans. You can have journal for your new learnings and lessons. Or you can have food journal. You can have healthcare journal and many more. But the main theme is to write it down rather than remembering in your mind. And here is a beautiful quote by David Allen. Your mind is for having ideas, not for holding them. So the idea of journaling came up to me two years back during lockdown when I was searching for good morning habits on YouTube. And I saw a video from the channel called Mind Valley. And the video was 10 morning habits by Jim Quick, the founder of Quick Learning. By the way, he's a great personality to get inspired from. And I watched the video and he was talking about journaling as if you want to boost your brain, then you have to take notes. And I was like, oh, that's great. Let's do journaling. And just the other day I tried journaling, but I couldn't make it because it was completely unfamiliar to me. And, you know, in order to build a good habit, you have to be consistent. And I was so irregular. And finally, I left journaling. And then in the middle of this year, because of certain reasons, I was so indecisive in every aspect of my life. And I realized that this has to be stopped. And Again, I started writing journal to clarify my thoughts. And believe me, this time I could convince myself somehow to be consistent with journaling. And finally, this helped me a lot to clarify my thoughts and to, you know, rationalize my decisions regarding my life. And that's how it works. So if you want to start writing journal, then you can start from the very scratch. You can apply the two minutes rule, as I said in the previous video from the book, Atomic Habits. Try to write one sentence within two minutes every day for a week. Then after one week, try to write a paragraph of whatever you were thinking. Stick with that, then you will see you are being habitual to journaling. There are so many benefits of journaling and I'm discussing some of them. Clarity of thoughts. Journaling is the best way to have a bird's eye view of our thoughts so that we can have more clarity. Self-discovery. Whenever you are writing your thoughts, you are talking to yourself. By giving yourself more time, you are discovering yourself, discovering your creativity and potential. Journaling helps to reduce stress. Overthinking leads to mental stress. When you overthink, you are getting more confused. Therefore, rather than overthinking, write down your thoughts and try to find solutions by reviewing your written thoughts. Journaling helps to become more creative. Journaling your ideas and plans leads to creativity because Written ideas and plans are more convenient to execute. Journaling enhances writing skill. The more you write, the more you master your writing skill. Because repetition is the key to master a habit. Still, there are many other benefits of journaling. Like, it helps to be more disciplined. It helps to be more organized. It helps to process emotions. It helps to be solution-oriented. Still, if you are facing problem with journaling, then you can use journal prompts. There are so many journal prompts available on the internet. Simply search for journal prompts and you can have a lot of them. Some of the journal prompts that I use the most are in the morning. What can I do something different today? What is one important goal that I'm working towards? How can I show myself self-care today? Or in the night, what am I grateful for today? What lessons I learned today? Or simply, how was the day? 
By the way, look at this beautiful bird called Green Bee Eater. As a passionate photographer, I feel blessed to have this kind of beautiful moments in my life. And that's why I'm sharing this with you friends. I hope you like it. And of course, I'm writing about this blissful moment in my journal so that later on, I can revisit this moment by simply flipping the journal. Alright, so this is all about journaling. Well, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you like it. If you do, then hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to my channel. My name is Vishnu. This is Busy Miraki. Have a good time.